Chimpanzees and humans share a lot of anatomical characteristics due to our recent divergence from a common ancestor. However, their morphology and ours also differ in some very important ways. By considering some of these similarities and differences in greater detail, we can better understand just how chimpanzees are adapted to their environment and lifestyle. First, let's consider the size of chimpanzees. When chimps are standing up, they are usually about four to five and a half feet tall. That's about the height of some of us CACs. However, standing on two feet, or bipedalism, is not a common behavior in chimps. They usually walk around using their back feet and the knuckles of their hands, called quadrupedal locomotion, which makes them look shorter. Chimpanzees are also sexually dimorphic, which means that the males and females have different physical characteristics. In chimps, this means that the males are usually slightly larger than the females, just like in humans. Females range from 60 to 110 pounds, while males can weigh as much as 150 pounds. That weight is largely concentrated in their powerful arm muscles. Even though they are smaller than most adult humans, don't let their size fool you. According to some scientists, a chimpanzee can be up to four times as strong as their human equivalent. This large difference is because chimp muscles are thicker and more dense than human muscle, especially where they connect to their bones. This difference in strength is also reflective of the different ways we use our muscles. For one thing, chimps need much stronger arm muscles than we do in order to move about the treetops with such ease. We humans also have many more neurons that control our muscle movements. This allows us to perform many small movements, like building a complex tool, while only using a few muscles and with amazing precision. Chimpanzees don't have this kind of muscle control, so they often end up using more of their muscles for any task than they actually need to. So naturally, their muscles end up much bigger than ours. Chimpanzees spend a lot of time swinging and climbing from branch to branch up in the trees. An animal that spends a lot of time up in a tree like this is said to be arboreal. Besides having strong arm muscles, chimps must also have really long arms to help them reach farther while swinging and to support their weight while walking. In fact, their arms are one and a half times as long as they are tall. Just to give you an idea, consider the fact that our arm spans are typically only as long as we are tall. So relative to their body size, the chimps' arms are 50% longer than ours. Now let's look more closely at the teeth of chimpanzees. All apes, including chimps and humans, have the same number and type of teeth. We even all have baby teeth that we lose before getting our adult teeth. This is reflective of our similar omnivorous diets that include a variety of fruit, various plant parts, and a little bit of meat. With such different types of foods, we need teeth that are good for biting, like incisors, tearing, like canines, and for grinding, like molars. The biggest difference between chimpanzee and human teeth is the size of their canines. While all of our teeth are about the same height and size, chimpanzees have canines that are much longer and sharper than any of their other teeth. This may surprise you, since we just described their diet as only having a little bit of meat. And surely they don't need those huge teeth to eat figs. To understand this, we have to widen our focus and realize that teeth can be used for much more than chewing. After all, just think of the meaning of a human smile. The canines are actually important in making a chimp look big and tough when it shows its teeth to another chimp in a threat. Now let's look at the skull and skeletons of chimps and humans. When you compare a human and chimp's skulls side by side, they look really similar. This is of course necessary to hold our large brains, which are bigger than those of the chimpanzees when you account for the differences in body size. The skulls also differ in where they connect to the bones of the back called vertebrae. Since we walk upright on two legs, we each have a big hole called the foramen magnum right at the bottom of our skulls. In the chimps, however, this hole is located on the back side of the skull and connects to the rest of the body at more of an angle. 
The differences in how chimpanzees and humans get around, or their locomotion, can explain other main differences between the skeletons of chimps and humans. We have already talked about the differences in arm length. There are also differences in the shapes of our spine. Human spines are S-shaped, which allows us to balance our weight better as we stand upright on two feet. Chimp spines, on the other hand, are not S-shaped, so they can better lean forward while walking on all four limbs. One of the things that stands out to you the most when looking into the face of a chimp is their striking eyes. In this view, it is easy to see them as cousins of ours. Chimpanzee eyesight is very comparable to our own. Just like us, they have binocular vision, meaning that both of their eyes face forward. One main difference between chimp and human eyes is immediately obvious when you take a close look. We humans have a very distinct white part of our eyes, called the sclera, while the same part in chimpanzees is dark brown. Some scientists think that humans may have evolved this white part in order to better communicate or understand what another individual is thinking based on where their eyes are pointing. Even without the whites of their eyes, however, chimp eyes are still very expressive and still important in chimp communication. As a side note, it is interesting that human irises can be a wide variety of colors, such as blue or green or brown. Just look at the people sitting next to you. Well, if you've noticed in the picture so far, chimp eyes are all brown. However, there's still some variation here. There's a wide spectrum of brown colors. It can range from a rich amber to a dark mahogany. These variations can help researchers and guides identify individual chimpanzees as they are trekking them through the jungles. Other senses, such as smell, also called olfaction, and hearing, are very comparable between chimpanzees and humans. Both have relatively small noses and ears, compared to many mammals that rely heavily on these senses. This is reflective of our mutual reliance on vision instead of these other senses, as described above.